Have you tried various treatments for chronic lower lumbar back pain and they haven't worked? And maybe you've read about some research done about stem cell therapy for trying to treat various other conditions in regenerative medicine. And maybe you're wondering, will this work in the treatment of back pain? My name is Anthony Gosh. I'm a consultant spinal neurosurgeon and founder of the Spine MDT. And in this video, I'm going to explain what stem cell therapy is and what use it may have with back pain. Firstly, let me explain what stem cells are. They're the types of cells that have the ability to create more cells or reproduce themselves to make cells like themselves, but also they have the ability to differentiate into another type of cell. They're either found in the cells of embryos, so as the embryo is developing, the different cells are forming the different types of cells that form the different tissues in our bodies, but they can be found in some adult tissues, such as the bone marrow, which starts to form different types of blood cells. So stem cell treatment is already in use in patients who have various types of blood cell cancers, where the bone marrow itself gets replaced or transplanted. Now in certain diseases, when cells are not replacing themselves as effectively as they should, and then the tissues start to degenerate or wear down, there has been some interesting research in the use of stem cell treatment. So can we apply this to the treatment of back pain? This comes down to whether you can prove that back pain is caused by disc degeneration or wear and tear. So let's look at this picture here of the human spine. This is the front of the spine and these are the bones that make up the spine called vertebrae. And between each bone, between these bones in this stack, are soft tissue cushions called discs. And they're made of this fibrous material on the outside with a gel-like substance in the middle. Uh, and the cells in this produce this gel, which kind of evenly distributes the weight of one bone over the other. In a mature adult, these cells don't really have a blood supply, and indeed they don't actually have any nerve endings. Often repetitive strain or a sedentary lifestyle may cause this outer lining to tear, and then some of the inflammatory liquid that this stuff produces leaks out and causes local inflammation. That eventually settles down, and then the disc lining just heals up and things improve. When this happens, we call this degenerative change because the disc leaks out some of its fluid, it appears dark on an MRI scan and all scarred over. But in actual fact, this doesn't then go on to cause chronic lower back pain because as mentioned earlier, there are no nerve endings in this area or even blood vessels. However, if the disc is tearing repetitively and there's inflammatory material leaking out, that inflammatory response causes the generation of small blood vessels into the disc space and even nerve endings branching off this nerve root here into the disc space. And that's when chronic pain is believed to start happening as a result of disc degeneration. Studies carried out in both rodents and pigs have shown that injection of stem cells, usually taken from the bone marrow um, into the discs, can actually help regenerate these cells of the nucleus, this central bit of the disc that produces the gel-like substance. And on imaging thereafter, um, MRI and x-rays, there's less wear showing with time. Whilst this may show improved appearances on scans of the discs, that doesn't always mean it's going to improve pain. And this is because worn discs are extremely common in people who do not suffer with back pain. So to decide whether this is going to work, we have to narrow it down to the people whose back pain is related to the degenerative discs. And that's actually a minority of people with back pain. The most important factor is the clinical history and examination findings by an expert clinician. But there are tests that can give us clues as to whether your worn disc or degenerative disc is indeed the source of your pain. And this is dem this demonstrated here is a SPECT uh, CT scan showing us an area here of um, high uptake, which could imply that this is the pain generator, but this does have to be interpreted with caution. And in this scenario, if patients have failed physiotherapy or pain management, then surgery to fuse the segment can give good results. Theoretically, in this same patient, stem cell treatment may work, but in my opinion, a lot more work needs to be done, especially clinical trials, where we trial it on a few patients first and then look at the long-term results before I'm ready to use it in my practice. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please click like or subscribe to the channel and please feel free to visit us at spinemdt.com. We'll be very happy to help you. Thank you.